Good morning, guys. It's uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. What is today? Tuesday. It's Tuesday. We are at our second install for the week, and uh, we're out here. It's it's really pretty um, in Hickory, North Carolina. The customers here are very, very nice. Uh, so I'm gonna try to do a little video here. Hey, I might need your help. And uh, the layouts, right here. It's it's a real nice layout. Everything's right here. Uh, I try not to put the customers in to bother them. Well, if you want to ruin it, go ahead. <laughs> I just, out of respect, unless a customer tells me I can, I don't put them in it. Um, so this is the layout, guys. It, it's very open. Shouldn't shouldn't have any difficulty at all. And there's where I walked in the door. I just wanted to give the customers a warning that I was going to video before I just walked in and did it. Um, cabinets, real nice, of course. It's through H and A, and you know we do a ton of jobs for H and A, and it's always good jobs. Of course, we'll we're gonna check the sink. We're probably gonna have to pop these out as usual. Um, composite sink, and just like just like all my videos, guys, I'll keep you posted if we run into any issues. I'll show you what they are and how we work through them. I don't foresee a lot of them here today, but you never know. All right, so all the tops are in. Everything seemed to fit real well. I'll show you the underneath of these counters. Uh, we haven't even put any shims in it yet, and the cabinets have turned out real well. The peninsula, of course, we haven't put a level or anything on it yet, so I'm not sure how level it is, so we'll see here in a bit. But uh, these cabinets are looking pretty good. And then this one here. Looks pretty good all the way down. Now, of course, we only have so much length on the slab here. I know some of y'all don't know what you're talking about and think the slabs are 30 foot long, which if they were, you wouldn't even be able to get it around the corners of the house. But, uh, so we popped the seam in it over here, uh, right here. The reason I put it on that side instead of this side, of course, is we have a dishwasher opening here. And you never want to put a seam over a dishwasher opening. So I could have either put one here, a little bitty one, or over here. So I got everything I could out of the slab lengthwise and popped one over here. <coughs> and then here's the peninsula. Like I said, we haven't put a level or anything on it yet, but as far as underneath, it looks pretty good. So, uh, I always put my bars on it to support the sink run. I know quartz is super strong, but, you know, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So, that's how I look at it. So, I'm going to get busy putting this seam together and knocking this job out, guys. And if I run into anything, I will show you what's going on. Okay, guys. Uh to mix my epoxy up for this in my opinion whites and colors like this are some of the hardest to mix because it's not a solid color it's kind of a grayish buffish whitish uh, so uh, I'm gonna start out of course the epoxy is supposed to be transparent but in my opinion it's like a transparent white so we're gonna start with that and we'll start working it toward this color and I'll show you how it turns out so I start with just a little bit of gray. Y'all see, this, it don't take much, guys. I'm trying to hold the phone. And film. Hey, Miko, will you come over here and just uh, film me? It's already recording. All right, y'all saw how much gray I just put in it. Now, it wasn't a whole lot. Okay. So now I'm going to put in a little bit of this buff. So. so now we got kind of a gray buff color. But in my opinion, it's still a little dark for what we need. Now, I do have an advantage. I've mixed these colors before, but I can't remember every color I mix. It's just I've done it so much. 
it works out for me and if it does then I'll just make another batch I think I can get pretty close to what I'm looking for there uh, so what I'm trying to do is hit this primary color here in the stone so what I'm going to do now is go over here and see how close I got You see it's still a little light, it's still a little lighter than I want it. So we're gonna go back here. I'm gonna put a touch more of this buff. Just a little bit, and a touch more of this white. All right. Kind of see how much I'm putting in it there. And I'm gonna mix that in. You always want to do just a little bit at a time because if you put too much, it's over. You can always add more, but you can't take it back out. You can, but you got to put a bunch more of the uh, epoxy in there. All right, now let's look at it. So, see, it's getting a little darker now. Of course, the shadow's coming through, so I just want just a little more color to it, and we're going to be good. I'm gonna take some of it over here for my skin coat. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of the buff, like that. A little bit of the white, just like that. almost solid now and that's just a little bit on top I think that's gonna be pretty good I'm gonna add just a touch more buff and white touch more buff touch more white Now we're pretty much solid. So I'm good with that. So now, just like always, I gotta clean this thing. I'm gonna back this out of here. I'm gonna clean this thing. Spray it with denatured alcohol. Make sure not to get any on the cabinet. And I'll just go in here like this here. That's pretty good for me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set up my uh, joint setter and all that stuff, and uh, we'll, we'll put her together. All right, so I ran my seam. I got this Ardwolf uh, joint setter on here. You hear it just kicked back on. It's set for 65, so uh, when it gets below like 62, 61, it'll kick back on. But I still got 94% battery, and what is this, seventh, eighth, ninth seam we done with? We've done a few. I think, it's, I think we've gotten over 12 now. So it's it's done pretty good. Uh, also, I'm using these ceramic razors. I had somebody on one of my videos laugh because we paid so much for them, but uh, I'm sure that customer appreciates his uh, shrimp vein running down his quartz seams. Um, I think they would prefer you to use these expensive razor blades and have a nice looking seam rather than a shrimp seam. But anyway, we're letting it set up. As you can see, it's it's getting there. Um, I use the amount of hardener. I try to have my seam set up somewhere between five and eight minutes. That gives me time to put it together, you know, do any final adjustments I need to. 
uh, get plenty of epoxy down through there. Uh, I need to go underneath and wipe what's coming out the bottom. Uh, you see how it's coming out the bottom down there? Just wipe that off right there. Got a little bit on the drawer here. I think not. That's not even epoxy. So. Uh, anyways, if you know how much you're putting in there, you don't really have a mess underneath. Uh, so, and that's just something that'll take you just a little practice to learn how much. I did have a little bit drip on the front here, but that's fine. No, we all right, this is what we look like on our seam. I haven't put a skim coat or anything like that on it yet. So I might have could have put a little bit more white and buff in there, but I think it turned out pretty daggone good. If I'm pointing the camera right at it, you can see it, no problem. But if I wasn't, it, it ain't jumping out at you, that's for sure. All right, guys, we've uh, finished everything. Any of you installers out there, you know what a big window in front of everything does. It shows everything. So I've been wiping these counters for the past 15 minutes, I guess, trying to get all the spots and stuff off of them. But uh, anyways, uh, turned out real good. Really no issues. We knocked it out in, what, two hours? Uh, so everything turned out well. Here's the seam. You can see how it turned out. Of course, if you go over there and look across the window, you're going to see it. But normal scene i think it turned out about perfect um the cabinets were very nice maybe an eighth inch of a shim on this right side here uh, i'll show you we used a transparent beige silicone we always try to match our uh our silicone with the color of the stone and the cabinets a little bit of uh water and dust from where i polished the front side of that seam there and uh well, the cabinets were nice and level. We didn't really have to shim this much either. And we had really, really nice homeowners here. Um, this is a job for H&A. You've heard me say them before, but uh, you also heard me say the customer make or break the job. So we, we had a nice one today, and that's always a blessing. Of course, we made sure we had our 30 inches so the stove fits in there because that's 100% call back if you don't do that. Otherwise, that's it, guys. Uh, no real issues. I appreciate y'all watching, and I will see you on the next one. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. And if you're not a butthole, I'll answer it.